All right, today we're going to be looking at Elementor's AI product. This is not a new product they have. They've been developing for a while. I have not gotten into it too much because it was its infancy back in the day. But let's just have a look, see pricing, see how we like it, if we like it. I know that a lot of people don't like it for many reasons and my opinion about it. So let's get into it. All right. So first thing we are going to be looking at Elementor's prompt library because that's a very good start to start with when you are uh, trying to generate prompts for whatever you want to generate prompts for, for. So I'm on Elementor's page, but you cannot, I don't know where you would access it from here, or maybe it's in the footer. I didn't look, but I will just say this, go to prompts.elementor.com, click on it <laughs> and this is the page uh, where you can find the library for prompts. Okay, so they have prompts for images, text, code, and builds, which is containers. And I assume that they will be adding more in the future because this is a new feature. Okay, so let's go to code because this is the most important thing for us because this is what we build with on this channel. Okay, so the first thing I see is that it was last updated in January 9th. That is almost a year ago. I would love to see this updated on a day. Oh no, let's just say on my monthly basis because this is very important, right? And this would be something that would help make the build of a website faster. Nothing that exciting. So I think adding more and more and more and more on a um, more regular basis would be very helpful. Okay, so they need to be updated more regularly, I think. Let's go to text. Okay. Okay, this is very cool. Um, I like uh, this. I find interesting. Yes, we have ChatGPT, but it's a little bit different. So we're going to look at this in a practical manner because it's a lot to, to talk about. Uh, let's go to containers. This is very interesting because if you know the library called Skelementor, they have templates like this for sections, for containers, for whatever you want to call them. They look basically like this. So you get a skeleton for your section. Okay, makes sense. And yeah, I know the design is extremely boring and extremely uninspiring, but this is a wireframe, in other words, on top of which you can, it says here, it's a wireframe, yeah on top of which you can build your design. So you get the wireframe, which is optimized for responsiveness. You don't have to deal with that, which is one of the biggest pains in, you know, where, when you're designing or where you, when you're building websites and this is already done for you. Okay. The only thing is to add your creativity and make it your own and design it the way you want it to be designed. And I think that's a good thing. But again, I would love to see more of because this was updated last in March. So more of more images. OK, yeah, fine. Uh, and we have notes for all of these prompts. Yeah. Um, images, text, whatever. And they all have basically a disclaimer and then instructions where necessary. For example, in the code, if you open the notes, it will tell you where to put the classes, IDs, uh, where to place the code, etc. So that is pretty good. All right. So you can copy the prompt from here, copy it, and then you add it in uh, your project. So let's look at pricing because this, this is a big thing. Okay. So the elementary AI starter is starting at $3.99 per month which is billed annually at 48 per year. So honestly, I think this should be included in the subscription. To be honest, this, this plan should be included in the subscription and the um, AI power and AI visionary should stay the same, but yeah, this should be removed. My opinion. Anyway, let's go see what do we have here in credits. Okay. So as you can see, most of the credits are taken by or eaten by <laughs> container prompts and image prompts, which is quite a lot, 40 credits out of 24,000. If you stay a little bit to think, 
what if you have to create a container a few times until you get the right or proper uh, layout this is something to think about all right so i am going to go into a website and we are going to test it out okay all right so we have to activate the build with ai feature in elementor so in order to do that go to elementor go to settings and go all the way to build with ai whatever you have it on the page and then go to def to activate and save changes also if you don't want to have this feature active you can do this go to you all users go to profile and go to deactivate elementor ai and if you see here status enable elementary ai functionality you just uncheck it and save your update your profile and so on okay so we are here on our page i have a simple page more or less uh, with uh, some sections content images and so on and so forth okay so let's see what we can do with ai okay so first things first, I want to add another section. So we have our processes here. We have um, contact form, but it seems like we don't have, for example, uh, any testimonials. So let's see if we can add that. So I'm going to go at the end of the page and I'm going to click on this uh, sparkly thing. All right. So I am going to press that and faq no client section no testimonial section with testimonials all right that is good let's see what we can get with that of course you can change this uh the way you want it enhance the prompt add more information let's see what what it can give us okay this is a little bit more developed let's generate let's see uh, we can also improve the results from AI by adding personal context. Let's do it. Uh, it's not very legible, to be honest. It needs a little bit more <laughs> um, yeah, contrast, I guess. And also we can regenerate it. So if we don't like what the AI is generating for us, we can regenerate to see uh, what other options we have. So this is taking some time. It seems okay that is not nice the first one i don't like it mm. okay that's no maybe that one let's see the third one okay the third one is not bad okay uh ah, so plant feedback section hey this is actually not bad Let's see if it's optimized for mobile. It is optimized and it's not looking bad at all. Of course, we could add our own touch, but it fits in pretty well. I'm going to use the layout with uh, everything that we have on the page. As you can see now, we are prompted with the site settings. So once you say that you are using the layout, you are prompted with the site settings where you get AI context. So let's see what's that about. All right, add context for Elementor AI. To, mm -hmm, okay, so voice and tone. This is very good if you uh, already have a website and you want to make sure that everything that is added to the website coincides or it's on brand with your message on the website so it has the, the same tone of voice which is very important but i'm not gonna get into this this is something that you need to get into deeper um, you can add info about your website and business which is very helpful because this will help the ai engine to work based on your brand and as it says here, your opening hours, FAQs, and everything that is at the base of your brand, right? So that would also decrease the amount of credits that you are going to be using to regenerate and regenerate and regenerate information over and over. So I think that's pretty cool. 
but I don't have anything like this so I'm not gonna add it but it's, this is good to know so tips for providing relevant information you can see here that these are just some basic things that you want to add to your website um, yeah so that is extremely good so i'm gonna close this all right so that was pretty cool and you can also add images so as you can see if you click on an image you have uh, the option to edit with ai so let's do that let's see what happens okay so image imagine it, anything create everything okay generate images by selecting the desired type and style and entering a prompt so photographic yeah we wanted photographic and what do we want we want let's say um oh yeah so we are already luxurious and cozy small photo okay that is cool and if i click again on it uh, we can get to variations uh we can remove the background replace the background clean up expand image i'm gonna replace the background can we do that i want the color scheme to be green okay replace of course you need to be a little bit more specific to get the right result that is the secret to using ai and if you've been using ChatGPT, you know how it is oh my god this is weird but we could work with this um okay replace the green oops curtains with sheer white ones All right um so you don't waste your credits so you need to think very well on how you use the um the prompts okay to remove the plants it, this is very touch and go i think and as i said extreme specificity is very important here okay i'm gonna use this it's okay <laughs> let's add another one let's see um use image but i'm gonna go again and let's see some variations so again you can add personal context here look in a sense i think um elementary ai is good and as i said at the beginning there should be only two plans the the starter plan should be included probably with a subscription with a subscription also i think it's good in a sense that you don't have to jump from ChatGPT to mid journey to uh, remove uh, to the bg remove background tool and so on and so forth so it's good that you can have everything here it's good that they created a library a prompt library but these things need to be improved so okay what was i waiting for i had the impression that it's going to generate them okay so this is what i think okay these are more or less the same anyway i'm gonna use this one interior design hotel room Classy X Pen Sieve. Okay, generate image. This again, it's not something that I prepared, so this will be probably disappointing if anything. <laughs> I would be surprised if it's any good. So if we go here, let's uh -huh. so if we click on let's do it on uh, adding personal context of course you are prompted prompted to the ai context where you can add more information about your website and so on and probably that would also help a lot with uh, generating images prompts and everything else mm, okay not too bad actually i'm gonna go with that one again i know that some people will say oh these images are not not good blah 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 but did you see what kind of prompt i gave it very basic so imagine if you go very deep into explaining this like you would do with me journey um okay so i think this is not bad it's a good product but they need to add more to it people will come up with the reasoning that oh we chat gpt is for the most part free uh yes we pay for for mid journey but if we want images but it's 
uh, you get so much with it or you have so many options and I get it but mid journey is also 10 euro per month and that's only for images and if you want more from ChatGPT, that's 20 euro per month so I get it elementary AI has an appeal from from many sides uh, but also they need to be more competitive they need to add more to it in my opinion to justify the price to the users i don't know let me know in the comments below what you think about it if you're using elementary ai and if you like it so another thing i'm gonna do let's just test the text okay so again we can edit with elementor here with ai so let's make it longer although it shouldn't be longer Let's use this text. Of course, we can edit again and a simplify language. Let's see what com it comes up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, nice. Let's translate to... <laughs> to Greek. <laughs> okay, let's translate to a language that I understand better. Let's say French. Okay, I'm not sure if the syntax is correct, but let's use this text. This is actually pretty cool because again, yes, you can copy paste the English text into Google Translate and do that. But if you are in your project context changing from one tool to the other, it just messes with your designer brain. You know what I mean? Uh, let's just do another one. Oops, I'm going to go again to <laughs> fix change tone. Um, let's say playful. <laughs> Okay, let's use this one okay this is something else anyway so yeah i think it's pretty cool i simply just want to see more from elementary ai in terms of uh library elementor library for the um i want to see more from the prompt library because it's very scarce in all aspects and as I said, I want to see more or I want to see some of the Elementor AI included in the subscriptions. So that's my two cents <laughs> when it comes to Elementor AI. And you let me know in the comments below your two cents. What do you think? If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.